Hello once again YouTube, it is I, the Thunder Mario here, and welcome back to this third episode of Striking Thunder. Now, in this episode, this will be the final Striking Thunder episode, so, yeah, I'm gonna try to make this episode as compared, like, the most unique compared to the all two episodes that I've made. Today in this episode, I will want to cover, well, let's see, I've already covered a plush YouTuber. I covered a comedy sort of, I guess, sort of type of YouTuber. Now, the only thing that's missing is, well, I mean, I would cover vloggers, but I mean, they're pretty boring. Same with reaction videos. They're also pretty boring, so, yeah. But also, one thing I have not cleared up is video game reviews. I know there are so many video game people out there that I have not even covered a single YouTuber, nor did I even rant about a video game YouTuber. So today, I'm going to cover a gaming YouTuber, and that gaming YouTuber that I'm going to cover is, well, Irate Gamer. Now, whenever I say the words irate gamer, you may call him an angry video game nerd ripoff, but honestly, he's not an angry video game nerd ripoff. Now, if I were to do a comparison between the two, yes, there will be some facts that will be stated incorrectly. But other than that, I will pretty much rant on irate gamer because I see or review on his channel for Strike and Thunder because, well, let's be honest here, I mean, not many people know of him. I mean, sure, 200,000 people know of him, but sometimes people can even forget about this YouTuber. And I promise you, this YouTuber is actually pretty decent in what he does, compared to, well, other YouTubers that I've seen. Now, considering this is the last Striking Thunder I'll ever do, now, let me get the ratings from last year to and the year before, and let me see... And, well, I'm going to try and compare them to how well they will do this time. And I'm also going to do a last renew result. I'm going to renew my results from 2016. So, let's get on with Super Mario Logan's results. Super Mario Logan got a B star, which is about a B plus in the school grade. So, yes, but now over the time, SML has changed so much to a point where he's been uploading ju several junior videos and most of the times they don't end out very well so I'm gonna tone that down way I mean he's been doing it constantly and he hasn't even done a Mario and Luigi Stupid and Dumb Adventures video in a long while by the time I'm recording this so I'm gonna have to give him a C star considering that's basically his grade for now and that's basically the change from 2014 to 2016. As in for Smosh, Smosh is doing about decent. I mean, Smosh is just still stuck at a B. I, there's really no change compared to last year to this year. So, yeah, Smosh still has the same grade, but Super Mario Logan has a C star now at this point. But now, let's look at Irate Gamer. What does Irate Gamer have for all of us? Irate Gamer is a gamer, basically, that, well, plays old games and that are really bad and goes through them and tries to beat the content. But not only does he just play video games and record himself do it, but he also manages to do it in the most unique way by having some sort of story throughout the video. For example, Season 4 was probably of the IRA Gamer Show is probably one of the best on his channel. I mean, it does have a story, has a lot of... It's basically towards a story and has sketch comedy and all that stuff. And, I mean, that's what I really like about IRA Gamer. Now, just because I like something about IRA Gamer doesn't mean it's going to be all at an A star and that there's nothing wrong with this. IRA Gamer does have some few flaws. Now, one of his flaws is that... Sure, he may not upload them frequently, but there are also series that he doesn't really do frequent at the time, such as Irate Gamer Neo and uh, Irate Gamer, his main show, but honestly, it's been two months since the last episode, and I mean, I can probably understand why, but that's not really a huge release to bump him down, so I mean, yeah, it doesn't really matter, so that's basically one thing about him so what about social media what is he does he interact in terms of social media well ira gamer interacts with facebook i believe so and google plus and well twitter and even in 
Well, a website. Wait, have you noticed a pattern? All the YouTubers that have already reviewed have a website? Jeez. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Ira Gamer is actually pretty funny in his own ways. I mean, he can be really entertaining and funny at the same time. I mean, this guy can make me even smile and even make me laugh at points. I mean, there's really nothing wrong I can find about this YouTuber. Besides the point that people keep saying that he is an angry video game nerd ripoff. But let me just say, he's not even an angry video game ner nerd ripoff. That's like saying if I were to do vlog videos, then I'd be, um, like, I don't know, like a... Toby Turner ripoff, or if I were, like, that's like saying that, or if I were to say, if I were to do gaming, that's like saying, like, I mean, sure, they both share their own types of style or whatever, but that doesn't mean they're automatically a ripoff. There's many other YouTubers that have the same style as another YouTuber, but I don't see them going saying, YOU'RE A RIPOFF! But anyways, let's talk about more about Ira Gamer and his videos. What about the characters throughout the videos? I mean, are they even irritating? Well, the characters throughout the videos, I mean, they're not really that irritating. I mean, as far as I know, they're very enjoyable and very likable. For example, I'll show you even a video of one of his videos or whatever, but I mean, or a clip maybe. But, I mean, just to show you what type of content Ira Gamer makes. And this is actually one of his old content, but even so, his old content can really make it out. Like, I'm serious. It, one of, it, like, some of his old content are really well done. And this is a very nice touch, because what could be cooler than that? Oh yeah! Kool-Aid, man! Oh yeah! What the hell? That's my wall you just destroyed! Oh yeah! Damn it, Kool-Aid, man! I'm in the middle of a game review! Get the hell out of here! Okay! Honestly, this YouTuber doesn't really have nothing wrong with his channel. Well, aside the points that sometimes he can probably do some stuff wrong, but... Anyways, like, the deci decisions he makes really don't affect his channel in a bad way. I can't really find anything bad. I mean, this channel really has some great content, and honestly, I would recommend him to you guys. So, in honesty, in terms of his videos and all that, I find them really interesting. I mean, sure, you guys say that he's an art angry video game nerd ripoff, but I don't see really how that supports. It's just a style of videos, or, well, of making videos. I mean, there's really nothing wrong with the style of making videos. It's just, well, I mean, they're just a style. I mean, what do you expect? So honestly, I don't see what's wrong with Irate Gamer. I mean, I find him perfectly fine. If I were to give him a ranking as of right now, I'd probably give him an A star. He's probably the first YouTuber I'd give an A star. I find him really interesting, and I mean, there's really nothing wrong I can find about him. Well, I mean, sure, he may, I guess, not follow his schedule much, but honestly, I don't really care about the schedule. As long as he makes a great video, I'm fine with that. So that basically wraps up Striking Thunder. I know this may seem a little short, but honestly, there's really nothing wrong with Irate Gamer. I mean, I, he probably didn't make it on my top 10 favorite YouTubers, and honestly, even if he's lucky, he probably made it on my top 5. Which, I, would be really, I wouldn't really be surprised if he made it on my top 5. I mean, there are many other YouTubers I enjoy, and this guy is one of my favorite YouTubers. Now, I still like the Angry Video Game Nerd, but not as much compared to the Irate Gamer. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video on this account, probably. So, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys all later. Peace out, guys, and on, oh, bacon!